Next, how to find stocks that are undervalued. Let's look into three methods. First, with Petrovsky score. Joseph Petrovsky is American professor of accounting at Stanford University. He used historical financial statement information to separate winners from losers. And his method was proven. In fact, if you type in Google list Petrovsky, you will see the suggestion of list of companies with high Petrovsky score. It means more people ask the same thing. And Google will provide multiple tools such as Trendline, Screeners and others. So we can see the list of companies with their Petrovsky score and their PE ratio. And let's make sure the stocks belong in Maslow Pyramid because they will last. Otherwise, a lot of stocks can explode and then decline. For example, social networks. There was a time when MySpace was a huge, and now it's almost gone. Facebook is declining. In fact, Facebook changed its name to Meta, and yes, Meta bought some social networks, like Instagram. But Facebook, later Meta, never paid the dividends. So it's good for stock traders, but not for investors. The second method is described by Peter Lynch. He achieved a 30% annual return. He doesn't like dividends. He wrote, I'll take an aggressive grower over a stodgy old dividend payer any day. He said, use the power of common knowledge and keep away from trend followers. Something that is disagreeable could make a lot of money. For example, we know the population is growing, which means more funerals, more flowers, more caskets. In fact, he found a boring company called Service Corporation International. They are funeral operator and they own flower shops and casket distribution centers. Next is waste management. We know there will be more waste. In fact, Bill Gates has a stock of waste management INC. The problem is, it's hard to find the disagreeable companies. However, by his quantitative filters, like PE ratio, growth and such, there are screener that lists the companies that match his criteria. And the links are in the description. The third method is from Joel Greenblatt. His magical formula earned him a 40% annual return without dividends. This is a different approach to investing. In his book, The Little Book That Beats the Market, he described a market. Over the short term, Mr. Market acts like a wildly emotional guy who can buy or sell stock at depressed or inflated prices. Over the long run, it's a completely different story. Mr. Market gets it right. So it's all about PE ratio and return on assets. But the best part is, there is a simple 7 steps to use his book. Step 1 is, go to magicformulainvesting.com, there is a link in the description. Step 2, choose company size with market capitalization of $50 million and up. Step 3, get a list of top ranked magic formula companies. Step 4, invest only 20-30% to of money you intend to invest during the first year. Buy 5 to 7 top ranked companies. Step 5. Repeat step 4 every 2 to 3 months until you have invested all the money you have allocated. After 9 to 10 months, this should result in a portfolio of 20 to 30 stocks. Step 6. Sell each stock after holding it for one year plus few days for tax purposes. Use all the money from sale to buy new stock from step 4. Step 7. Continue this process for many years. In fact, Greenblatt continues with the same process to this day. Conclusion is, there are more ways to invest. The fact is, every year there was a crash. Some bigger, some smaller. But it also means that high prices of stocks has lowered. At this point, it's time to buy. After the crashes, there are new millionaires. Because the last time we had like a big crash in the U.S., I made so much money. It was ridiculous.